Good afternoon, traders. Asian indices and US futures bounced back so far in the Asian session after gapping down at the open of news of, a, of another possible US bank being in trouble, uh, namely PacWest, which shares tanked about 60% in the aftermarket and dragged down US futures. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be hearing a bit more about them in the next few days anyway. Uh, the A6200 bounced back, it started off negatively. It's, it's probably helped along by stray trade balance figures that were released this morning as well. Currently unchanged, while the Nikkei, Hang Seng and, and the Shanghai markets are all in the green. In FX markets, um, seen a pretty predictable uh, reaction with risk returning. Uh, Aussie dollar reversing losses of the US session, uh, pushing back up to a test at 67 level, which is where it found some resistance after the RBA decision yesterday. Um, the Kiwi dollar, similar action, pushing back up to last night's highs. Yen is quiet, dollar yen really just trading in a tight range after dropping a fair bit on a safe haven flows into the yen last night. That hasn't bounced back as yet. Um, the Chinese Yuan though has, has had a good rally and followed through this morning. Gold has given up some of its gains, um, the big gains last night where it almost hit all time highs. That's really on safe haven flows unwinding to an extent. So it's down to around 20, 40 US dollars an ounce now, which is about $25 off the highs of last night. Oil, which uh, has been getting clobbered lately, is uh, gapped down this morning at the open. It's managed to, to fill that gap in the Asian session on improved risk sentiment. Um, it's being held at a resistance at around $69 a barrel low. Uh, tonight ahead, we have the ECB, which is a big risk event. Now the markets are split whether this is going to be a 25 or 50 basis point hike. So uh, either way, whatever the ECB do, expect some, uh, some volatility in European markets uh, and especially the euro.